Hi, I'm Brian May. It is that time of year already. Just the sign of sprinklers can be some welcome relief from the heat. California saw our first near record temperatures this week and our first excessive heat warning. So what does that mean? Well, it means extended periods of extremely hot temperatures and very little cooling relief overnight, which leads to a high chance of heat stress or illness to the elderly, kids and animals. So how can you prepare for the heat? Well, some simple ways are drinking lots of water, wear light colored clothes, stay away from strenuous outdoor activities during the hottest times of the day, check on the elderly, kids and pets, and try and find some place to cool off. Libraries and malls make great spots. Inside the National Weather Service office in Sacramento, they keep a 24-7 watch on the forecast. You know, everyone is like, oh, this is so hot. And I always joke that, well, you weren't, you know, you were yelling in May. It's right. so wet and cold. Right. When's summer going to get here? Well, it's here. <laughs> All jokes aside, Michelle Mead gets very serious when it comes to warning people of the dangers that come with this extreme heat. All activities outdoors you should either do early in the morning or after sunset. And now that we're getting close to the summer solstice, keep in mind sunset is close to 9 p.m. now. It's hot outside, so we want to go to the cool water, but the water right now is only in the 50s and low 60s. And it, that's about the temperature that folks can get hypothermia pretty quickly. And one last but very important piece of advice, as cliche as it sounds, remember it really does only take a spark. If there is red flag conditions out or fire weather watch, don't do outdoor activities. Don't be mowing your lawn. Um, anything can spark. Just a, a mower blade on a rock can send a spark and you don't think anything of it. And next thing you know, the field next door is on fire. Of course, with the heat comes the increased threat of wildfires in California. And to that end, we are all going to be hearing a lot more about public safety power shutoffs or PSPS. A public safety power shutoff is a uh, preventative measure that the utilities take when there's forecasting for really extreme wind conditions and other types of weather that could be very favorable to fire conditions. And in California, we've seen some pretty catastrophic fires. This is a step that they're taking. Hopefully it's a, a last step uh, to prevent a wildfire being caused by downed power lines or other pieces of equipment that the utilities own. As far as what someone could expect with a public safety power shutoff, those conditions are going to be different for each event. So the power could be out for a matter of hours, could also be out for a matter of days. And what we're asking folks is to be prepared for that longer term power outage because you may not know until it's already happening how long that power could be out. And they could potentially tell you a one time frame and that could get extended with very short notice. We're going to hear more about these uh, public safety power shutoffs because it's a new step that the utilities are taking because a lot of the catastrophic fires recently have been caused by utility equipment in rural areas or in areas areas that are extreme or high fire risk. We've got a lot more information about staying safe during extreme heat events. You can go to caloes.ca.gov and look for the Beat the Heat tab. For all of us at Cal OES, I'm Brian May. Thanks for watching.